Hey there, laser makers. Jim, the Michigan laser guy, here to show you a, a follow-up video. Um, I previously did a video on image masking, um, but I was asked uh, by someone to sh explain how to mask the background out of an image. Um, so specifically, we want to take this uh, this sample picture here. I, I picked this ice cream cone. I just grabbed it off uh, Google Images. Uh, but I want to show you how we can accomplish masking the background out of this uh, because we want to engrave the image without all the extra stuff. So let's get started and you'll be an expert in no time. So the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to go ahead and trace our image. Um, the reason we're going to do this is because we need an outline of the object. Um, and in all fairness, uh, I did pre-test these settings, so I kind of found some settings that are about right uh, for our image trace, um, just to give us the, uh, the best kind of image trace here. So what we want is just the outline, so I've kind of like, kind of set my cutoff on my threshold to give me a good outline of the item and I don't care about the stuff on the inside so I set it to ignore all the objects that are smaller in nature. Um, so we're going to go ahead and trace that. We're going to leave this delete image after trace turned off because we want to keep the image and get a copy of the trace. So let's go ahead and save that. Now what we have here is the image and the trace. Um, so what you can see here is we have this this image trace. We're going to go ahead and ungroup this and just clean it up. We're going to get rid of this stuff in the middle here that we don't care about. And we're going to fix this little blemish down here on the bottom. And of course I just moved my ice cream gun. It's not what I intended to do. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pop in a node editor here, and we're just going to select these two nodes that are in the wrong spot. We're going to hit D to delete those, and we'll just fix this little handle here just so it's not sticking out. Now that that's done, uh, we now have an outline of our object, um, and just so we're not using a cut layer or anything, let's go ahead and stick these items on our tool layer. Uh, just so they don't interfere with anything. And let's go ahead and group them again uh, so that we can move them together. You don't have to group them to, to move it, but it certainly makes things easier. So I hit Control G to regroup those. And we're just going to make it so it's in line with the other one. Oops. P. Uh, P. So P uh, just moves it to the center of your workspace. Uh, but you could also uh, select these items, just select all the, the both the items and use this uh, align vertical and horizontal, and that'll put them together as well. It doesn't really have to be in the center of the workspace. I just like working in the center of the workspace. So now that that's done, what we want to do um, is we want to use just the outline. So we're going to hide this image for just a minute so we can work on just this. We have those groups so that we can center them. We're going to go ahead and ungroup them. So control U. And now we have this item that we can select separately from the other. Let's go ahead and turn our image back on. And now that we have the image and an outline, we can select both of those and we can right click and say apply mask to image. Now what this is going to do, it's going to limit the view to only what's inside the shape that we had. So if you move the, uh, if we move, oops, if we select just our image and move that around, what you can see is you can see the background through the hole. And so now we have this item masked. We can group these objects together, but if we never are going to want to change this or, you know, this is a permanent change you want to make. Um, what you can do is you can right click and say flatten image mask. What this is going to do is going to permanently apply that image mask to the image and remove everything outside of that. So now that we've flattened it, we now have just an object that is the ice cream cone without the background. And there you are.
hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if it is, go ahead and smash the like button and uh, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps me out, uh, helps me keep making great videos like this for y'all. Um, so let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see something else, let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys.